The detail and definition are stunning. There's jubilation in the smiles of Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson, contemplation in the eyes of Ken Griffey Jr., and determination in the stances of Jewel Lloyd and Sue Bird. I like to um, typically work from a number of different photographs as references and then ultimately create my own composition. They may look like snapshots, but they're drawings created by Keegan Hall. The prolific artist makes straight lines with precision, but his personal path has been anything but. When did you first start creating? Man, since day one, really. I mean, I, I grew up doing art. My biggest fan was definitely my mom, and it, it went far beyond art. I mean, she always praised my art, even, even my really terrible drawings. I was always just such a shy kid. She was amazing, almost like the opposite of what I was when I was growing up. Keegan's mom, Lisa, always put her kids first. I have one sibling, her name's Joanna, and she has cerebral palsy. So my mom was always um, one of the Special Olympics coaches. Uh, when I was a kid, actually, she actually was the head coach of one of my baseball teams. And I think she was like the only female head coach in, in our entire league. But I got to see her be like this tough, strong woman that, you know, get things done. He majored in art at UW but decided against pursuing his passion. Upon graduation, I kind of just started to listen to everyone around me telling me that, you know, whether you're not good enough, art's not a real career, you know, you're gonna be poor your whole life. The dream of being an artist and in an art world uh, was no longer a reality for me. Keegan built a career and a family. Everything was, was going great until that kind of one fateful day where you know, I got the news that you know, my mom had cancer and she went through the, the chemo and radiation and, and came out uh, successful on the other side and was cancer free. After years in remission, heartbreaking news. It kind of came charging back and uh, she started to not feel very good on a Friday and uh, ended up going into the hospital on Saturday and actually passed away on Sunday. It basically rocked me to my core. Losing his mom led Keegan to reflect and reevaluate. And I kept kind of going back to my time creating art and how much kind of joy that brought her. For some reason, I just sat down one day and, and drew a picture, something I hadn't done in, in you know almost 10 years. So I thought I'd start with a picture of uh, Michael Jordan. He posted it on social media. And I remember just lots of um, positive comments coming back. And so you posted it and you're probably not thinking much of it, right? Yeah. But, but then what happened? So one of my friends just was like, hey, you know, that was a really cool drawing. Can you, um, you know, create a drawing for me of, of Cam Chancellor? I started with a picture of Cam and posted that picture on social media. And, and Cam actually saw that and shared that drawing on his social media. And before I knew it, I was doing a picture for Cam Chancellor, which was pretty wild. But I had this big audience, or at least lots of eyeballs, seeing my work. The momentum kept building. Always in the back of my mind thinking, how could I use my art to help others? My wife actually coined the name. It was called the Keegan 200. The idea was I'll do a drawing. We'll create 200 prints of that drawing. And then an athlete and I will sign all 200 and we'll sell them for $200. He partnered on a project with then Seahawk Richard Sherman. The drawing sold out on the first day. He was a great guy, you know, and he had a great message, and he, he believed in what I believed in and wanted to help the kids. Raised 40 grand like that, and then I donated all of it to charity. And I was like, oh man, here we go. Like, this, this is something special, I think. So um, Sherman was the first guy to kind of give me a chance to prove the charity um, model would work. Um, not too long after that, I did a big campaign with, you know, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Um, obviously, Russell Wilson and I did a big one. Um, in a separate campaign, Russell Sierra and I did a whole library card project. On the Sounders, Jordan Morris and I did a big one. Gary Payton, Michael Bennett, Jermaine Curse. I mean, it kind of just goes on and on and on. So every time you do one of these, though, and this is, I think this is so interesting, you, you are donating money to charity, but you are not choosing the charity. I always gave that choice to, to the athlete or entertainer. I want you to tell me the number of how much money you've donated so far because it is so cool. Now we're up to probably close to $425,000 in the last few years. Using the simple tools of pencil and paper and spending up to 80 hours on a piece, Keegan's drawn some of the most famous people in the world. But there's still one band on his wish list. 
I would love to work with um, Pearl Jam. Just a big fan of theirs. They do a ton of charity works. Okay, so Eddie Vedder, if you're watching, give him a call. Okay, so what do you think your mom would say if she could see where you where you are now? Well, she would just be ecstatic, not only seeing um, me kind of follow this new path of art that I always wanted to do as a kid, but also see kind of the, the impact it's made in our community, which is inspiring them to kind of follow their passion. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.